hello everybody this is rich barrington for rb outdoors and as you can see we are on our off-grid property up here in northeastern washington and today i'm going to talk to you about starlink we are totally off-grid here we don't have any power we don't have any water we don't have any septic and no service at all i mean there is nothing here a lot of people say, oh, why don't you just get a booster? And I said, well, you can't boost anything you don't have. So we decided to get Starlink. I wanted to use it for a couple months before I did this video. And, well, it's been a couple months. Uh, we can just give you the quick lowdown on it. Uh, we actually ordered it and put down our $99 deposit on it in last October. And it was about uh, middle of July or so we actually got the notification that our area was ready. Um, I am not going to go through the setup of it. Um, there's plenty of videos out there. I'll tell you this much. I am not a techie guy. And I was a little concerned about setting this thing up. And guys, it could not be any easier. You plug in two things. You take it out of the box and put it on the pedestal. You have to download the Starlink app on your phone. And within five minutes we had internet right here where we had absolutely nothing it was so simple i, I can't tell you enough how simple it was so that's why i'm not going to do a setup or anything like that i'll give you a couple specs on it um, it comes with a 75 foot cable um, i'm going to show you here in a little bit where i have it mounted i just have it screwed to a log on the other side of our trailer of course we are full-time rvers so one of the reasons that starlink works really well for us is that the dish itself is only about 20 inches long by about 11 inches wide and it's super light i, I it couldn't be more than six seven pounds tops with the stand uh, like i said it comes with 75 feet of cord and then the modem is just this big I mean, it's tiny. We can pack it all down in a nice box. My main concern was power. Um, I actually have it hooked up to my Jackery and I'm gonna show you that here in a little bit. So obviously we live off grid, so I rely on solar and a generator, um, mostly solar. Um, so power was a big issue. So I've been watching on the Jackery when I have it plugged in and it ranges from anywhere from 50 to 80 watts. I don't know why it fluctuates like that, but that's what I've been, and I look at it a lot, and just to see what the average was, and it's between 50 and 80 watts, which isn't too bad for having internet. Um, but again, we don't leave it on all the time. So basically what we do is when we wanna use it, I plug it into the Jackery, I turn the Jackery on, and it's already set up. It could take anywhere from maybe three to 10 minutes before I get a really good, strong signal. Uh, Spacelink supposedly has about 3,000 satellites. So uh, once you turn it on, it has to find, and you can see the dish move so it can find those certain satellites in your area. So it does take a few minutes. Um, so like in the morning is, I like to get on the internet with my coffee. So the first thing I do is turn on the Jackery I make my coffee, and time my coffee's done, and time I sit down, I have a pretty good signal. I'm going to show you some of the speeds here, um, here in a little bit on Brenda's phone where the app is downloaded. And again, I'm not a techie guy. Um, you could look at the speeds and tell me if they're good or bad. I think they're pretty good. Um, when I download this video, I'm hoping this is only 8 or 10 minutes long, and it may only take me... 15 minutes hopefully so I can't speak for other areas because I know uh, you know other areas are different but from where we are it's an absolute game changer um, a couple more tests that we did we had Brenda on her tablet and on her phone stream two movies on Netflix and then I streamed on our laptop and my phone I streamed YouTube videos all at the same time and we did that for about five minutes or so. And on all those four devices, zero pause, zero buffering, nothing. And to me, that was really impressive considering we are out in the middle of nowhere. So it may not be the super fastest thing, um, 
but I got to tell you, when you don't have it and you and you have it now, um, it, it's a big deal. And the cost for the RV mobility of the Starlink is $135 a month. Um, you do have to buy the dish and modem right up front, and it's it's when we bought it, it was 500 bucks. I heard it went up to 599, uh, but obviously just get on the Starlink website and uh, check out for your local prices. Okay, here's my first uh, speed test. And like I said, I'm not real techy, but um, I'm thinking that's pretty good for the middle of nowhere. So let's do this advanced test. All right, so here are the advanced uh, speed test. I think those numbers are pretty good. And another thing that I was not expecting was the distance from the trailer where the modem is inside how far I can get a signal I got my trusty range finder here you can see the trailer back there let's just see how far we are so right here where I'm standing is 60 yards away from the trailer and the modem is in All right, I'm gonna bring up some YouTube and uh, see how well it streams here Uh, I don't know what channel I picked there, but uh, it's a good looking couple right there. I might have to subscribe to this RB Outdoors Northwest. But anyway, 60 yards away. And as you can see, that thing was playing with no buffering or anything. You know what? Let's go. Let's try 75 yards and let's just see how far this thing could go. All right. I think I'm about 75 yards. I'm going to double check right here and let's uh, put the Starlink to the test here. I'm actually 76 yards to be exact. So let's bring up YouTube again and let's see if she'll play. And guys, I never had any idea when I first did that video, our first <laughs> amazing two weeks off grid, the response, like 30,000 views, 150 comments, people actually. Okay, there you have it. 75 yards away, no buffering. And again, I suppose if you know, it, like my situation, if I was working away from the trailer, let's say building our outhouse that we're gonna be doing next year, and I could have my phone on me and I could actually have service, receive phone calls, texts, and be at least 75 yards, if not more away, which I didn't think was possible, especially the modem being inside the trailer in the box, but you just saw it right there, especially streaming. Um, this, was, this was just a nice bonus that I was not expecting from Starlink. Well, there you have it, guys. I mean, that was a pretty good test with range. And here's something else I didn't think of. Actually, it was Brenda uh, about two weeks ago said, hey, we have Hulu. Let's turn on Starlink, get Hulu hooked up to it. And that way we can watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube. Let's give it a try. And guys, it worked great. We watched YouTube, Netflix, Prime, zero buffering, at least while we were watching it. So right now we're paying $110 a month for internet, but it also gives us our TV because of our Hulu. So most people have their internet that they pay for, and most people have their dish or whoever they're with for their TV, which is probably another 100 bucks or more. So for 110 uh, for the resident program, or 100 and I think 25 for the RV thing, you basically can get your TV also, if you're like with uh, Hulu or maybe Apple TV, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure that so long you have a, a good internet source, and if you're on any of those sticks that you plug into your TV, you got Netflix, 
all that stuff that comes whatever which package you have. So basically we're paying $110 right now a month for TV and internet. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Well, that's it. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Please smash that subscribe button. It really, really helps our channel. Please like this video, share it to people that maybe this might help them make a decision um, as a full-time RVer or people that are considering about living off grid to help them um, make a decision. And once again, thank you for watching and we will see you guys very soon.